I know for a fact that uh, whether it's something as, as simple as a little bit of innovation, a little bit of imagination uh, with regard uh, to, to uh, solar, alternative energy is here today, alternative energy is expanding, alternative energy is in fact Hawaii's energy future. Thank you very, very much. This project is a successful partnership with the Maui Arts and Cultural Center, the Maui Electric Company, and Honolulu Builders. It's Solar City's first major installation on the Valley Isle, and it's rated at 500 kilowatts. As a nonprofit, it's essential to constantly find ways to reduce overhead in order to maintain our ability to provide maximum products and services delivered to the community. With over 1,700 events a year and over 250,000 people coming through those front gates, it's become essential to look at every opportunity available to minimize our costs, and in this case, create our own opportunity. We're standing on what is, what was leftover uh, pieces of land between the, the product of making the park and what is the Arts and Cultural Center. And we identified this corridor as our alternative energy corridor along uh, the Arts and Cultural Center. The alternative energy field especially things like our solar energy, needs to be 100% alternative so that we do not have to constantly be at the mercy of a foreign country or of a product that we have no control over here in the state. And I want to really truly express our administration's push, and I think I can say ours, Governor, when we say that this is one of the ways we change the whole economic structure of Hawaii to be almost independent from the rest of the United States if they are going to constantly depend on foreign crude and the fight over petroleum products. This will allow us an economic freedom that we did not have before.